it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this gritty looking transition in After Effects. So let's get right into the tutorial here and I'm in After Effects here and I've imported uh, my footage in here and when you have your footage here you're going to be importing I would say five to seven grunge textures you're going to be using for this transition here and if you don't have any grunge textures you can either go to google search up grunge textures go to images download pretty simple you can also go to adobe stock if you guys have that they have really really good uh, high quality uh, textures there that you can use for this as well or you guys can go into a pinterest type grunge textures search then you guys can see a lot of Texture is going to pop up and then you can just download them and it's going to work amazing for this tutorial here. Uh, so get your textures first and then import them into After Effects. Now the grunge textures I added is going to look something like this. I'm just going to mark them, press R, rotate, set it to 90, press S to increase the scale. Adjust your textures so they fit the composition. Now I'm going to go to the transition point, which is going to be here. It's where the two clips here, you guys can see. It's going to switch. I'm going to make a marker by pressing the star key. And I'm going to make this transition 24 frames in width. So I'm going to go 12 frames to the left here. Then here, make a marker again, star key. And then go back to the transition point and do the same thing for the right side instead. So 12 frames, star key. Now you guys can see how big this transition is going to be and, and I'm basically going to cut up all the textures here on, and I'm going to make them two frames in width. So for this one I'm going to press Ctrl Shift D to split the clip, delete that one and then make it two frames in width. So one, two, then Ctrl Shift D, go to the next one. Great, it's going to look something like this here and I'm going to copy all of these textures here. So mark all of them, Control c then Control d drag them to the right, then delete the rest here. So it's just going to be in the transition here. It's going to look something like this so far, and now we're going to be changing the blending modes here. So I'm going to start off by setting the blending mode to soft light, and you will get this kind of look here. And then for the next one, set it to pin light and this is the look you will be getting now just play around a little bit with those two uh, blending modes and you will get a pretty cool look and this is the look i got here now the next thing you're going to be doing is making a adjustment layer and you can do that by pressing ctrl alt y and here we're going to make the adjustment layer uh, the same width as the transition is going to be just like that we're going to start off by adding noise then keyframe the noise here so set it to zero in the beginning go to the trans transition point set it to 100 percent then go to the ending set it to zero after that you're going to be adding curves and that's just so we can increase the brightness here a little bit you guys can see in this clip here is very dark so i'm just going to increase the brightness a little bit to something like this here and drag it up here as well you guys are also going to be adding a mosaic to this. Set the horizontal blocks to 1000 and then the vertical blocks to 300. And the last effect we here we're going to be adding is called the posterize time. Set it to 15. You can drag it above a little bit. And this is how it's going to look. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. And if you guys are not satisfied, you can adjust them later on a little bit with the blending modes even more. Now, just by making some small changes, this is how it's going to look here. I think it looks really really cool and a really really clean transition you can use for your music videos. And if you guys like this gritty grunge kind of style here, I've actually made a editing pack called the Grunge Pack and I'm going to be showcasing it to you guys now how it's going to look with this transition here. So you're basically going to make an adjustment layer, Control alt y make it as big as the transition, drag it above and here I'm going to be adding the grunge effect 29. And you can make the adjustment layer you made earlier invisible. And this is the look you guys will be getting with that effect. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't even describe how cool I think this looks. But uh, 
yeah, if you guys are interested in this pack, you guys can use the discount code Pelle to save $5. And don't forget, guys, this pack is no plugins at all, so you don't need any plugins, just the normal After Effects software. So, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> it's really good, in my opinion. Uh, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website with amazing editing packs just like this one here and uh, and also don't forget to check out our socials especially our instagram and don't forget to join our discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day